Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft and welcome to this video where I'm going to teach you how to access the G-code file that your software generates for your CNC router or any kind of CNC machine. So this is going to be done in the Vectric software but your software, when you create a tool file, you do your design, you create a tool path. What happens is when that tool path is created, your G code is generated. Now, G code is the code that your CNC machine understands how to move. So sometimes we have to actually access that file so we can do some modifications. Now, G code is it's basically understanding how it works but I just want to show you how to access it and then maybe we'll talk a little bit about what you see in it so this is in response to someone who's been emailing me they've been having a little difficulty with the surfacing of their CNC router their software is Vectric desktop well I'm not sure which one it is however the problem they're having is a soft Z limit so whenever you see that kind of error what that means is is that the software the G code is trying to tell the machine to move beyond the physical limits that it, it can move so when you see that that's usually a setting in the design software for example here is Vectric I would have to change my Z safe limits however I'm not sure what's going on with Wayne's software because he sent me the the file the um, design file and it looks fine so I asked him to send me the G code and he doesn't know how to actually send me the G code so the whole point of this is to show you how to get to your G code file so you can look at it and maybe send it to somebody <laughs> maybe to me uh, however you don't just send it to me I'll have to uh, you have to have a problem for me to look at it. Okay, so with all that being said, let's go into this so you know how to access your G code. It's actually fairly easy. So you see, I have this little project. It's a word, it says prosperity. And by the way, words sell. If you're trying to figure out what to make on your CNC machine to make some money or just to make for people as a gift, words, words sell. And if you want to know the top 50 words, down below in the description is a link that will get you to that list. Alright, so we are going to, we've done the design here, and now we are going to go over to the toolpath section. Again, I am in Vectric. This is specifically is the desktop version. And I already have a toolpath laid out here. It is called Prosperity 90D16. When you name your toolpaths, you want to name it in a way that you understand what it is the bit that you're using and other information and so that's what's here I know it's the word prosperity I'm using a 90 degree V bit and it's a board that's 16 inches long in Vectric you have this little floppy disk icon which is really out of date why do they use floppy disk icons nobody has them anymore right even flash drives are going out the window but that's the save icon that we all understand. So when you click that, in Vectric, you see down below, there's an area called toolpaths. You want to click the toolpath that you want to generate G-code on. If you want to generate the G-code for all of your toolpaths, then click this little button next to toolpaths and it'll check all of them. Now I'm not going to get into, in this video, what tool paths should be clicked what shouldn't this is just to show you how to access your g-code so when I clicked that this save tool paths ungrade right now I can access it if I click that tool path off you see it's grayed out because there's no tool paths for it to save or create so I'm going to click that and that comes back on and it doesn't really matter what settings I have up here in this case because it's a single toolpath. So I'm going to click Save the Toolpath. What that is doing is that is getting ready to write the G code that will tell your CNC router how to run. 
and I'm going to put it in a folder. We'll just, uh, I'll put it in this folder. And you can see that the software named it Prosperity 90D16L. Okay, so basically just took the name here and plugged it in here. Now it'll probably add some other stuff in here. So I'm going to click Save. And now we're going to go to the directory where we just saved it at. And it'll come out as a notepad file. So it can be accessed as a text file because that's what G code is. It is a basic text file. So you don't want it in Word, you don't want it as a PDF, you want it as a simple text format file. And you can see it did name it Prosperity 90D16L and then it, it put 1-Prosperity 90D16L. I'm not going to talk about why it did that for now. We're just going to open it up. And there's the G code. Now I want to show you something. If you want to, if you have to send me the G code, Wayne, this is how you do it to send it to me so I can look at what's going on with your machine. Now you're just going to open up a email that's addressed to me and do a file select, select this file and send it. So let's talk a little bit about G code since we're on the subject and what it might look like. So on your screen right now, it looks a little bit small. I can zoom in, in but I'm going to do this. I'm going to just grab some of this code and control C and I'm going to throw it into a Word document so I can zoom it in a little bit. I got a lot of Word documents open as the price of having business. You do a lot of stuff. You should see how many folders I normally have open on my web browser and why isn't it popping up? There we go. Ah, now I just clicked off it. There we go. Okay, so we're going to say control. That was a YouTube comment that I copied over so I could read it and respond. I respond to all YouTube comments. Control V. Let's take a look at the G code once it imports. And there it is. Computer's just being taxed right now. And let's zoom it up. So when you open up your file, you're going to see some interesting things you'll usually see a, like a t1 or t2 the t stands for tool and the, the reason a t1 is inserted into the code is when cnc routers have multiple tools already stationed there this t tells the machine that we're going to call it tool number and in this case, tool number one. Tool number one is uh, the first tool. Now, if you have multiple tools set up where the machine goes and actually changes the bits out itself, that's what this is used for. So you would have tool two, tool three, tool four. So each tool has a number, and when that T calls up, it knows it has to go over and change that bit out. Then you'll see like a G17, you may see a G20. If you're working in metrics, you'll see a G21. The G20 is inches, G21 is metrics. G90, that tells the machine it's working from an absolute position, meaning all the numbers, the movements in the code are relative to the zero, zero position. And then you'll see is G0, you'll see that all the time, G0 right there. G0 is a rapid move. Oh, here's another one, S. S stands for spindle speed. If you have a router on yours, like a Makita or a DeWalt, this is irrelevant because you manually turn it on, you manually set the speed with a dial on the router. The S comes in when there is a... Uh, spindle on there and the controller is running the spindle. M3 tells the spindle to turn on in a clockwise rotation. You'd never know that G code tells so many things. Next line is a X motion, Y motion, and a Z motion combined. So this will make a straight line from where it, is, where it was, X0, which is up here, let me 
to and y0 to this x, y, and z location. And then you'll see things like g1. There's an f here, and that tells it's going to be at a feed rate. And in this case, it's 20 inches per minute. And then there's another feed rate at 50 inches per minute with another G1. So I'm not going to dive into G code so much. I just want you to understand this is how you get to your G code. This is what you're going to see. And if you need to do some editing in there. Let's just talk about the issue that Wayne is having. He is having a soft limit alarm. So he's trying to surface his or he's trying to cut a grid on his CNC router bed. And the reason he wants to cut a grid is because it helps you immensely in setting up your parts where you don't have to try to eyeball it straight. You also know where all the corners are at specifically. So it speeds setup time significantly. But uh, if you want to know about grids there will be a link down below a video walks you through the process of how to put a grid on your router and why you want it on there so go watch that video when we're done here what i need to see in his program is the z moves and to see if if there is a a number that's being punched out in his g code that shouldn't be there based on the settings in his design software and that'll help me out with that. So that's uh, yeah, little rough ad hoc video, but the, the whole point is to show you how to access the G code. So we're just gonna, since I kind of went way off target, we're gonna go back into that and just run you through it real quick. Again, we are gonna go back to that prosperity sign. When you generate your G code, you're gonna save your tool path and you are going to save it to a particular directory. Now, if you work with something like ESL, uh, most of that's online, and you'll take a flash drive and plug it into the Xcarve, that is your G-code file, and that's what you would access. If you want the words that sell list, go down and sign up for them. Now, if you are a beginner with the CNC routers, there are, uh, I sell a complete set of CNC router bits with files with feeds and speeds charts plus i give you an extra bit and you get all, all kinds of stuff and i will mail it to you right away any comments would be appreciated as it helps my channel and i hope you have a great day